The calls to stop hate are increasing more than ever in light of recent violence and hate-fueled events in the country. It's an issue which continues to persist through time, and now one mom is stepping up to change that. Dr. Zabina Basin is also a diversity and inclusion expert. She's here now to talk about her new Stop Hate initiative. Good morning, Dr. Z. Good morning. We're happy to have you. So Dr. Z, tell us a little bit about your background and your upbringing and how that's influencing the work you're doing today. So my background is I'm a child psychiatrist and I have a company known as In Kids, but my upbringing is the most important behind this campaign. You know, a South Asian girl who grew up in Southern California had faced many of bullying and racism and prejudice and stereotypes against her. And this young girl who is me, who now became an adult and is a mom herself, decided that she, this is just now too much. We have to stop repeating the patterns and teaching our kids and others about how we need to just stop hate. So my background came part of this. Yeah, so let's talk about your new Stop Hate campaign. Tell us the why behind it, the mission, and who's involved. So Stop Hate is a brand new campaign that I, myself, and In Kids, my company, is leading. Along with some amazing collaborative partners we'll be sharing very soon with, we launched today. It started with an IGTV that I created and to allow and make sure that we say history is not repeating itself. And in kids is already doing that. We're already creating our culture boxes and our diverse toys to help the younger generation. But the reason behind this is really simple. If we don't learn to respect one another and accept one another, we're going to keep repeating the past. And it's just hate is unacceptable in all forms, whether we direct it towards um, stereotypical prejudices we have, towards gender biases, towards disabilities. It is different in every area, but it's still hate. And our stereotypes and our prejudice are turning hate into our words, and those matter. So our campaign is going to make a mission to highlight the big and small ways that we can work together, not only within our homes, within ourselves, and then for the world itself. Well, I can definitely feel your passionate, your passion, and you're, you're very passionate about this. And as you mentioned, you're an advocate for teaching children about race and culture. Why do you feel so strongly about introducing that early on? Well, it's important because they're already mimicking us as parents. At two years old, the brain is already developing. And we as parents and anyone who's in a child's life is showing children what we are doing, whether it's respecting one another, whether it's using our words in the right way. Again, I will repeat, words matter. If we're telling a simple joke that turns into a stereotype for that child and then eventually will become a prejudice, they're only learning from us. So we need to first focus on ourselves so our younger generation can see that these are words that we need to not use. And that's how we're gonna stop hate altogether. You know, we don't wanna scare children. Of course we don't. We wanna make them understand that this is not acceptable. And we need to start now with this generation A that is coming about. And you've mentioned your company in kids. It's one way that you've been trying to already help parents and families begin to celebrate unique differences. Absolutely. So in kids was launched last year and we're actually up to our one year almost in June, but we wanted to diversify playrooms. We wanted to diversify bookshelves. We wanted to teach culture and connect children with different traditions so they could see that people are actually similar more than different. In doing that, we started seeing that we were recognizing more hate crimes out there and more things that children were noticing without them even knowing that this was part of the world. So we needed to take a step further. So which is now we're creating resources, going to work with the schools, gonna work with administrators, so we can bring in educational materials also for parents and children and anybody who wants to learn about how do we teach not hate anymore. And Dr. Z, you talk about starting with ourselves. What are other ways we can then work together to stop hate? And how do you want people to get involved with your campaign? So to get involved with the campaign, we have our launching, um, we've launched it on our website at inkidsco.com. You will see that we have all the mission statement and the vision behind what Stop Hate is and all the collaborators that are going to work with. Every week, you will notice that there's a new collaborator. We're working with a nonprofit right now that we have on their Bully Bust. And Bully Bust actually is about preventing bullying in school. So let's start with those kids. That's how we're going to bring it out in the communities. So if we're using our platforms for our homes,
homes to teach our children. Now let's take one step further and bring into our children's schools. And so that's another way to bring it in our community. Um, I'm also going to be working with a lot of community members within Southern California. Um, next, this month, actually April, is Sikh Heritage Month. So I'm going to be working with the Sikh heritage people to show how we can do within our own communities, whether it's my Indian community or your Asian community or your black community, how to stop these prejudice and stereotypes that we use our words. So that's one other way to start creating the Stop Hate campaign to work with us. Dr. Z, we here at YCL see what you're doing and we appreciate the effort and coming on the show this morning to share your Stop Hate initiative. And you can learn more about the initiative to Stop Hate at inkidsco.com.